Hello and welcome back to this course. In our previous video, we have discussed about the buffered output stream, and today in this video, we will discuss about the buffer input stream. So you can see in the hierarchy of the file handling uh, classes that buffered input stream is the child class of the filter input stream. So let's discuss what is a buffered input stream class in Java IO package. So Java buffered input stream class is used to read information from the stream. It internally uses buffer mechanism to make the performance fast. Uh, we have also discussed about uh, the buffered output stream before this video. So this is just like that. In buffered output stream, uh, we write data through the stream and in this class, we use our stream to read the information. And it uses the buffer. Uh, I hope you know about the buffer. So it uses the buffer to make its performance fast. So these are the methods that are present in the buffered input stream class. You can see that the methods are repeating again and again. First of all, we have the available method. So this method returns the estimate number of bytes that can be read from the input stream. It returns the integer type value and give us the number of bytes that we can read from the input stream. Next, we again have the close method. So this method closes the input stream and releases any system resources associated with the stream. Again, this method closes the input stream and release any system sources that are associated with the stream. Next, we have the skip method. This method skips over and discard n bytes of data from this input stream. So we know that skip method help us to skip the number of bytes uh, that we want to discard from the data. Next, we have the read method. This method reads the next byte of the data from the input stream. If we want to read one byte of data from the stream we use the read method and next we have the overloaded version of this method uh, in which we have three parameters one is the array of uh, byte type with the name b and one integer variable of and one length of integer type so this method reads byte from the byte input stream into the specified byte array starting at the given offset again this method help us to read a uh, uh, length uh, amount of data from the uh, uh, array b which starts from the off variable which is the position also next we have the reset method this method repositions the stream to the position at the time mark method was called uh, last time in the input stream we know that the reset method uh, again move to back to the position where the mark method is called i hope you know about the mark method as we have discussed about this method in our previous video so these are the methods that are found in the buffered input stream class. So let's see how we can uh, read data from the file using the buffered input stream class in our NetBeans. So this is the program that we have created in our previous video using the buffered output stream. So I modify this code. First of all, I change here file input stream and I import the file input stream in my program. Also here. And buffered input stream. And I import the buffer input stream class also in my program. I also change the reference name fn and fbi. And also here I change fin. Okay. And uh, I'll move all these lines from here right now. Okay. So now, what I'm going to do here, I first of all uh, start a while loop here. While. And in the while loop, I type here. Um, before writing that, I declare a variable here, int i. Okay. And in the while loop, I type here i equals to b i dot read and I wrap it in the parenthesis not equal to not equal to minus one because we want to read the whole data in the file then what to do simply print system dot out dot print ln and in here I type the character 
and type password with the character and i okay and uh, outside this loop i just close the uh, bi and i also close the fn dot close okay and uh, okay so first of all we see which data is stored in the uh, file by opening the file manually so you can see in the program uh, folder i have the example of txt when you open this file you see i love to code in java this is the text that we have written in our previous video using the buffered output stream class so i read this data from the file okay so i go to netbeans and when i run this program you will see uh, i just move the ln i simply use the print and now if i run my program you will see i love to code in java is printed successfully on the screen so in this way we can also read our data from the file using the buffered input stream class so i hope that you understand so with the help of the buffered input stream class we have read data and we have write data in this file by using the buffered output stream class which you have written in the previous video so in this video we have read the same data that we have write in that file so and i hope that you understand anyhow if you feel any problem by understanding the methods or the logic of any uh, method or class you can definitely ask me a question i am always here to help you so that's it for this video i will see you in next video